All right, on this episode, we're gonna talk about properly flushing your Yamaha jet boat motor. As you can see right now, you have one spigot spitting out water. And I have one engine hooked up. Flushing. Now, if you have a single engine boat, you will only have to worry about the first steps of this process. I will take you step by step through my second engine for the remaining process. Hope you guys enjoy. If you have two engines, this process is for your second engine. You wanna take your hose, you're gonna end up hooking it up to that side and I'll stay with you guys during this whole process. So, come on over here, unscrew this side, get your slack in the hose, you're gonna push in, turn it clockwise till it locks in. Once your hose is locked in, go ahead and make sure while you're here, secure that first port. Okay, get your hose ready, locked in for engine number two. Remember, you have kill switches over here, so this has to be closed. Close that off. Now we're on engine two. This is engine one. Engine one is done. We're on engine two. Start engine two. Once the motor is started and running, you want to come back to your hose within 30 seconds of starting it. Turn your water on. Now this is important. because Sometimes you get plugs and stuff in your engine. You want to make sure that that starts to spit water. So your rear is engine one, your forward is engine two or this is your top ignition, this is your bottom ignition, make sure that you are spitting water out. If you do not see water coming out your spout and out your rear of your jet propulsion, automatically kill your water as soon as possible because if you leave that water running on the wrong engine, then you will flood that engine and water can back up into your open cylinder. The way it does that is through your exhaust manifold, what will happen is the water will back up and your pistons, you know, you have a different set of, um, I, I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now, but each one is set at a different level, fires at a different time. So the one that's open for your exhaust port is going to let water up into your engine, your piston will fill with water, the next time you go and try to start it, you are going to try to compress water and you're gonna bend a rod, blow your motor, crack your engine in certain places. Something's gonna fail, whatever the weak point is. So always make sure that your water is flowing on the engine that you are rinsing. And the best way on these dual engine ones, it's easy. And obviously the single engine ones are easy. If you've got water flowing, you know it's good. On the dual engine ones, if your hose is connected to this side, this motor should be running and water should be flowing from it. From there, as well as there. If your hose is connected on that side, this engine should be running, your port engine. You should have water flowing from there, as well as the aft spigot on the side of your boat. So you're gonna run this for a couple minutes and then once you ran it for a couple minutes. A, a good way to test it, take your hand, swish it around in your mouth if you've been running it in salt water. If you don't taste any salt, first thing you wanna do before you shut down the engine is shut down your hose. Never ever shut down your engine before the hose. Turn the hose off.
right? You're gonna clear out your water box. Let it rest. And that's it. That's how you flush your Yamaha jet propulsion motors. I hope this one helped you guys. I appreciate you. If you like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe. I'm trying to put out the best content I can for you guys. I have run out of money to buy new products and do install videos for you. But in the future, I plan on doing more. If you would like to see these videos to continue for the install videos and doing new stuff, I wanna add tower speakers as well as uh, rear deck speakers and another amplifier with some cooling fans. I have a Patreon page. I will put that link in the description as well as right here on the screen. And thank you again for watching. FSH dude, out.